If you've ever noticed that your softener isn't softening the water like it used to or isn't using salt, these are often caused by brine draw related issues. So in this video, we're going to talk about common causes and solutions for these types of problems. So the first thing you want to do is take the lid off of the brine tank and look down inside at the salt. Make sure that the salt's not solidified or bridged. Uh, bridging occurs when a crust forms on the salt so that it's not able to come into contact with the water. If this happens, then the water can't make brine and the softener can't regenerate properly, resulting in hard water. So if you do find that the salt has bridged at all, all you need to do is break that salt up so that it's able to come into contact with the water and then your softener will be able to make brine and function properly. Now, if the salt is not solidified, the next thing we're going to want to do is to initiate a regeneration by opening the Legacy View app and clicking Regenerate Now, or you can do it without the app by simply pressing and holding the Set Change button until you see four zeros, and then let go, and press it again until it starts running. So the first step of the cycle is backwash, and during this step you should have a good strong flow of water coming out the drain line. It should be about two gallons per minute. So if you don't feel or hear or see water coming out that drain line, uh, the first thing you should check is the drain line flow control button. And you can do that first by turning off the water, and then go ahead and unplug the control valve. And then you can unscrew the drain line flow control assembly and you want to check the drain line flow control button and make sure there's no obstructions there. You can also look inside the valve body and make sure that there's no blockage in there either. A couple other things to keep in mind, if this is a new installation, you want to make sure that your drain line is no longer than 20 feet in length. If it is longer than 20 feet, it should be a three quarter inch, uh, but half inch lines should be no longer than 20 feet and make sure it's not teed into any other lines. If this is an existing system that's been working in the past and now is not, you want to also, check and make sure that the line isn't kinked or restricted in any way. Uh, in some cases, you may have flow coming out the drain, but if there's a kink or a clog anywhere in the line or at the end of the line, that could also cause a flow restriction that would prevent the softer from drawing brine. So if everything with the drain line checks out, we're ready to go to the next step, which is the brine rinse. So go ahead and plug the unit in. And we're going to cycle it to step two, either by go to next regen step in the app or by pressing and holding the set change button. Go ahead and turn on the incoming water. And in step two, you should still have water coming out the drain line, but at a much lower flow rate than what you had in step one. And you should also have suction coming from the brine tank. So in this step, we're running water through an injector in the control valve to create suction to draw the brine. And then the brine is, should be getting drawn out, going through the resin tank, up through the tube, and out the drain line. So you should, at this point, be able to see water getting drawn out of the brine tank. It draws really slowly, so it's best to wait five or 10 minutes to see if the water level is going down. If you can't tell that it's going down or not, or if you don't wanna wait, you can just remove the cap from the brine well and disconnect the tubing from where it connects to the brine tank. This is a push lock connection, so you remove it by pressing and holding on the inner collar while pulling out on the tubing. Once the tubing is removed, you should feel suction at the end of that tubing. Um, so if you do have suction at the end of the tubing and you have a good connection to the brine tank, you should have draw. So if it wasn't drawing, but you have suction, go ahead and push it back in firmly and it should draw. If you don't have suction, then we're ready to move to the next step. We wanna see if we have suction at the control valve. So you can do that by removing this blue pin. And this is the same type of fitting where you push in and pull out. And you should have suction right here at the brine line connection. Now, if you don't have suction at this connection, go ahead and turn the water off, unplug it. And we're going to remove the injector cap uh, by removing these two screws and we're going to check the injector and the screen. So first we're gonna remove both of the injector cap screws. Since the softener is in the backwash position and we have it in bypass, pressure is off so we can safely remove this without getting sprayed, but you do wanna make sure anytime you're doing a procedure like this that the system is depressurized before you proceed. So I've removed the injector cap I'm gonna remove the injector seal as well. 
so that we don't drop it and lose it. First, you wanna pull out this white screen, make sure that's clean. Water comes in to the screen from the back and then it goes through the injector. The injector is what is responsible for creating the suction. So in order to have brine draw, you have to have a clean injector and a clean screen. The injector can be pried out with a flathead screwdriver like this. And once you remove it, you can take it apart like this and you want to clean it. Make sure that both of these orifices are clean and you're able to see through them. As long as it's clean, then you should have brine draw. If it's really dirty, it might be easier just to replace it. So with both of those clean, we can just put everything back together. When you're replacing the injector cap, make sure that this part goes on the bottom. Once the injector cap is back in place, you can go ahead and plug the unit back in. And before reconnecting your brine tubing, you can turn the water back on and make sure that you have suction at this fitting. As long as you have suction at this fitting, go ahead and reconnect the brine tubing. Don't forget to put the blue retainer clip back into place. Make sure that you have suction at the end of the brine tubing, meaning that we have a good airtight connection there. And you can go ahead and reconnect the tubing into the brine tank. Make sure to push it all the way in until it stops. And as long as you have a good airtight connection at both places, you've got a clean injector and screen and good flow of water coming out the drain line with no restrictions, you should have brine draw. In the unlikely event that you still don't have suction coming from the brine fitting after cleaning the injector and the screen and checking the drain line and drain line flow control assembly, you'll next want to rebuild the control valve with a new piston, seal and spacer kit, and brine piston assembly.